we used to own a car wreckage yard and uh, an old gentleman come in one day and he said to me, are you interested in some Nash Ramblers? I'm a Nash Rambler and I said, what is that? I yeah. didn't know what it was, 1956 Nash Rambler, uh, I don't know. So my wife and I drove up on the weekend to see yeah. this guy's Rambler yeah. and there's this old car sitting there and I looked at it and it's like, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And this one, he called his Greeny, yeah. because it was green in those days. He had parked up in his, in his garage, he was going to restore one day. He had to deal with him to, and bought the whole, all his collection stuff. Yep. And he, uh, when we pulled it out of the garage, yep. all the floor and the sills were rusted out. He was quite taken yep. about how bad it was. I had a few attempts at uh, building a chassis before I, t- I took our HQ Holden Ute chassis and tried to lower the body, cut the floor right out of it and lower the body over over this HQ. But the back end of it just wasn't going to work. The, the chassis rails were going to stick right up through the boot, so that didn't work. So there was another car we had, I had in the yard at the time, was a Toyota Crown. The floor pan was about the right size of the same car. Yep. And so we started, I started playing around with that and I found that HQ Holden front end and this crown came about the right length for the, for the wheelbase. So we put it together and welded it together uh, as one. So it's Toyota crown back chassis and HQ Holden front chassis yep. welded together and some beams put them through the centre to strengthen it all up again. Yep. And then put the floor pan back onto that, yep. off the crown, and lowered the body down, right down over it so that um, the car was low to the ground but yep. still had original suspension travel. It came out of a, an early Corvette. Yeah, the 454 shed, forge pistons and forge crank and roll a rock of this and flash that. 671 room supercharger uh, with two four barrels. The radiator we had a lot of trouble trying to had a lot of trouble trying to get a call. And you ended up putting a bed for the truck radiator on it. Yeah. Five core, which means it's got five different series of fins, I suppose. Yeah. Try and cool it down, but even then these motors are very hard to keep cool. I wanted something bright. Nash, originally when they come out in the 50s, they had very bright colours. I started painting orange and I just didn't like it, so I just kept knocking it, knocking it up a couple of notches. Whether it's good for you on our side, I'm not sure. But I like it. It had a lot of magazines caught onto it, petrol head and New Zealand rider and snap on calendar, went onto the calendar for one year. Still gets a lot of attention just the way it is, so yeah, yeah just get out and enjoy it hopefully. It's a bloke of petrol and it seems to like a bit of that. It's quite fun to drive because it does go quite well.